My name is Kinako Musendi. I'm a medical practitioner. Having a hospital in a, a tree by the name of Nema Hospital Limited. Then before I worked in government for 10 years, then I resigned in 1991. It's when we started Nema, but we started it as a clinic. We worked in that clinic from 91 up to 2001 when we converted it to inpatient. Then from 2001, the name hospital developed in Grand Lake from a small hospital to a big hospital, where by now it is level 4 with the whole services, including outpatient and inpatients, and all other departments, including X-rays, theater, and the rest. We have been working together, and our guiding star has been our deep faith in the Lord. A woman is given to the husband to complement one another. And then in addition to that, I feel that you complement one another. Because when we started the business, it was our idea. It was not one person's idea. We joined hands and we began the venture together. And it has grown when we are together. It has been a real sacrifice. Wake up at 3 p.m. a.m. a.m. in the morning. And that is the time we start our journey because we want to be here in time. So it has been pure sacrifice because when we started the course, we saw something in it that can make us improve our work that can make us improve our business. So it has not been that easy, but you have managed. Another thing, there is something that we learned, and I have put it in my mind, and I'll think about it. Death is inevitable, and we must prepare for death. We must be able to put everything in order by writing a book. You know we Africans, we shall away from them. We don't want to imagine about it. But this course has opened my eyes to know that I should write a will, I should plan even where we are. Actually we are ready to do that and one we started with the making the business to be uh, limited because now uh, although we never knew when we came here, we found that a sole proprietorship is just when you die, you die with your business. But now being a, a limited, uh, and then we do the proper way of just succession, it's a matter of continuity, continuity because a worker is there, a person who has died, died is a person, but the business is there, the company is there. Some of them, and we have already started, is that we have completely separated our business from ourselves. That is one. Number two, uh, I said there before, we have all employees, including accountants and whatever. But then before, we are depending on them blindly, because now I could tell him or her, prepare balance sheet but it was a formality because I could not interpret it but now I can interpret and know exactly if we are going positively or we are going negatively so that is one thing we have already implemented and also uh, employee management when you you give 
your employee, just you negotiate and you give your employee the necessary payment, it is not easy to be forced. So we have known the weaknesses why some of the their employees are forced. Also, we learned about core competence during this course. Our core competence is the maternity. And when we went back, we said a maternity that has all the facilities all the business and even the county is a red department with us because of what they saw. So it is something that we have learned and when we went back home we thought why don't you implement this? I would recommend to other entrepreneurs because it has really helped us. And I would recommend that if they are copper and they are doing the same business they can't be two, not one. Because what I have heard, I cannot pass it to him the way he can hear it himself. So it is good that you come together, you listen. When you go home, you discuss it together. Where you have to modify this, you modify it together. Where you have to change this, you change together. So it is my advice that I come for this course. A good one, and it can help one to progress well in this business. So.